Kin, a small town nestled deep within the woods. There stood an old Victorian mansion known as Blackwood Manor. The mansion had a dark history with rumors of tragic events and restless spirits haunting its halls. Most locals avoided the place, believing it to be cursed. One winter evening, Emily, a young woman visiting her grandmother in the town, found herself alone in Blackwood Manor. Her grandmother had fallen ill and had been rushed to the hospital, leaving Emily in charge of the mansion. As night fell and snow began to blanket the grounds, Emily settled in for a quiet evening. The mansion's creaking floorboards and flickering candlelight created an eerie atmosphere. But Emily brushed off any thoughts of superstition. However, as the hours passed, strange occurrences began to unsettle her. Whispers echoed through the empty rooms. Shadows danced in the corners of her vision and the temperature seemed to drop unnaturally. Emily chalked it up to her imagination until she received a phone call from an unknown number. Hesitant but curious, she answered, only to hear static-filled whispers that sent a chill down her spine. The voice spoke of secrets hidden within Blackwood Manor, urging Emily to uncover the truth. Determined to prove her bravery, Emily ventured into the mansion's darkened corridors, her flashlight casting long shadows on the ornate wallpaper. The whispers grew louder, guiding her towards a locked door that seemed to call out to her. With trembling hands, Emily found the key hidden in an old cabinet and unlocked the door. What she discovered inside shook her to the core. A hidden room filled with dusty tomes, ancient artifacts, and a journal detailing the mansion's cursed past. The journal spoke of a tragic love story that ended in betrayal and death, the echoes of which still reverberated within the walls of Blackwood Manor. It hinted at a vengeful spirit seeking justice, trapped between worlds and hungry for redemption. As Emily delved deeper into the journal's entries, she felt a presence watching her, the temperature dropping to freezing levels. Whispers turned into desperate pleas, urging her to set things right and break the curse that bound the restless spirit. With newfound determination, Emily vowed to uncover the truth behind the tragic events that had cursed Blackwood Manor. Little did she know that her investigation would awaken forces beyond her understanding, setting off a chain of events that would test her courage and resilience in the face of supernatural terror. As Emily delved deeper into the mysteries of Blackwood Manor, she found herself drawn into a web of darkness that seemed to tighten around her with each passing day. The whispers grew louder, the shadows more menacing, and the temperature inside the mansion continued to plummet. One night, as Emily sat in the hidden room, surrounded by ancient artifacts, and the journal detailing the mansion's cursed past, she heard a distinct knocking sound coming from behind the walls. It was as if something or someone was trying to communicate with her from the other side. Curiosity mingled with fear as Emily traced the source of the knocking to a hidden panel concealed behind a tapestry. With trembling hands, she pushed aside the tapestry, revealing a narrow passageway leading into the mansion's forgotten depths. The passageway was dimly lit by flickering torches, casting eerie shadows on the stone walls. Emily hesitated, her heart pounding in her chest, but an inexplicable force compelled her to venture further into the unknown. 
As she navigated the twisting corridors of the hidden passageway, Emily stumbled upon a chamber that seemed frozen in time. The walls were adorned with arcane symbols, and a pedestal at the center of the room held a mysterious artifact, an ornate dagger with a blade that seemed to shimmer with an otherworldly light. With a mixture of trepidation and determination, Emily approached the pedestal and reached for the dagger. As soon as her fingers touched the hilt, a surge of energy coursed through her, unlocking hidden memories and revealing the truth behind the curse that had plagued Blackwood Manor for centuries. The dagger, known as the Blade of Redemption, was said to have the power to sever the ties that bound the vengeful spirit to the mansion. It was the key to breaking the curse and granting the spirit peace at last. Armed with the blade of redemption and newfound knowledge, Emily knew that her journey was far from over. The vengeful spirit, sensing her presence and the threat she posed, would stop at nothing to protect its dark legacy. As Emily prepared to confront the spirit, and put an end to the curse once and for all. She felt a chill run down her spine. The whispers around her grew frenzied, warning her of the dangers that awaited in the heart of Blackwood Manor. The horror story was far from its conclusion, and Emily's fate hung in the balance as she braced herself for the final confrontation. As Emily held the blade of redemption in her hand, a sense of determination washed over her. She knew that confronting the vengeful spirit would not be easy, but she was determined to break the curse that had plagued Blackwood Manor for centuries. Armed with the ancient dagger and guided by the whispers of the hidden passageways, Emily ventured deeper into the mansion. The air grew colder, the shadows thicker, and the sense of impending danger intensified with each step she took. Finally, Emily reached the heart of the mansion, a chamber bathed in an eerie blue light with spectral images flickering in the air. The vengeful spirit, a specter of anger and sorrow, materialized before her, its eyes burning with a fierce intensity you dare to intrude upon my domain. The spirit's voice echoed through the chamber, carrying with it a sense of centuries-old rage. You cannot break the curse that binds me. I will not allow it. Emily stood her ground, her grip on the blade of redemption steady. She spoke with conviction, her voice filled with determination. I have the power to end this cycle of suffering. The curse ends tonight. The spirit let out a chilling wail, its form flickering as if struggling against an invisible force. The walls of the chamber trembled, and the blue light intensified, casting long shadows that danced around Emily. With a swift motion, Emily raised the blade of redemption and recited the incantation she had uncovered in the journal. The dagger glowed with a brilliant light, its energy intertwining with the ancient magic of the chamber. The spirit's howls grew louder, its form fading in and out of existence. Emily pressed.
As Emily stood in the now silent chamber, the weight of her accomplishment began to sink in. The vengeful spirit had been banished, the curse broken, and Blackwood Manor seemed to breathe a sigh of relief. But the warning whispered in her mind lingered. A reminder that the darkness within the mansion was not easily dispelled, determined to ensure that the curse was truly ended. Emily decided to explore further, seeking any lingering remnants of the malevolent force that had haunted the place for centuries. As she ventured deeper into the hidden passageways and forgotten rooms of Blackwood Manor, Emily discovered clues that hinted at a deeper, more sinister truth. The mansion had once been a place of dark rituals and forbidden magic. Its history intertwined with the occult and the supernatural. Among the artifacts she uncovered was a tome filled with forbidden knowledge, a grimoire containing spells and incantations that could summon and control otherworldly entities. The realization sent a chill down Emily's spine, realizing that the curse may have been just one piece of a larger, more nefarious puzzle. With the grimoire in hand, Emily delved into its pages, deciphering the ancient texts and unlocking secrets that had long been buried. But with each spell she uncovered, Emily felt a creeping sense of dread, as if she was opening doors to forces beyond her understanding. As she continued her investigation, strange phenomena began to occur within the mansion once again. Objects moved on their own. Whispers echoed through the halls, and shadows seemed to take on a life of their own. It was as if the darkness that had been banished was trying to claw its way back into the world. Emily knew that she had to tread carefully, for the power she wielded with the grimoire could easily backfire if she was not cautious. But the lure of uncovering the mansion's secrets and putting an end to the lingering darkness was too strong to resist. Armed with the knowledge from the grimoire, and the determination to protect herself and those around her. Emily prepared for the next phase of her journey. The horror story had taken a new turn, and the true depths of Blackwood Manor's malevolence were yet to be revealed. As Emily delved deeper into the mysteries of the grimoire and the secrets of Blackwood Manor, she couldn't shake the feeling that something dark and powerful lurked just beyond her understanding. The spells and incantations within the ancient tome whispered promises of untold power, but also carried warnings of grave consequences. One night, as Emily pored over the pages of the grimoire by candlelight, she came across a spell that caught her attention, a ritual of summoning that claimed to bring forth a being of immense knowledge and wisdom from the depths of the void. Curiosity mingled with apprehension as Emily considered the implications of performing such a ritual. Could this being hold the key to unlocking the true nature of the darkness that haunted Blackwood Manor? Or would it unleash a greater horror upon the world? Despite the risks, Emily felt compelled to proceed. With meticulous care, she gathered the necessary ingredients and prepared the ritual circle in the chamber where she had banished the vengeful spirit. The air crackled with arcane energy as Emily recited the incantation, her voice steady but tinged with uncertainty. As the final words of the ritual left her lips, a portal to the void appeared within the circle, swirling with dark energies. A figure materialized from the depths, its form obscured by shadows, but radiating an aura 
of ancient knowledge. The being spoke in a voice that echoed through Emily's mind, offering cryptic answers to her questions about the darkness that plagued Blackwood Manor. It hinted at a malevolent force that had been imprisoned within the mansion long ago. A force that hungered for freedom and would stop nothing to regain its power. Emily's heart raced as she realized the gravity of the situation. The being from the void had revealed a new threat lurking within the mansion, one that posed a danger not only to her, but to all who crossed its path. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Emily knew that her journey was far from over. The horror story had taken an unexpected turn, unveiling a deeper conspiracy and a looming threat that would test her courage and determination like never before. As Emily stood before the being from the void, its ominous presence filling the chamber, she felt a surge of both fear and determination. The revelations about the imprisoned malevolent force within Blackwood Manor sent chills down her spine, but she knew that she couldn't turn back now. The being's cryptic warnings echoed in Emily's mind as she tried to make sense of the situation. It spoke of ancient seals that bound the malevolent force, scattered throughout the mansion and hidden from prying eyes. To fully understand the nature of the threat and prevent its resurgence, Emily would need to uncover these seals and unlock their secrets. Armed with this newfound mission, Emily set out to explore Blackwood Manor once again, this time with a renewed sense of urgency. The grimoire served as her guide, its pages containing clues and instructions on how to locate and activate the hidden seals. As Emily delved deeper into the mansion's forgotten corners and secret passages, she encountered obstacles and challenges that tested her resolve. Mysterious traps, illusions, and spectral apparitions stood in her way, each guarding a piece of the puzzle she sought to unravel. With each seal she discovered and activated, the mansion seemed to react, its dark energies swirling and intensifying. Shadows danced along the walls, and the air grew heavy with a sense of impending doom. But Emily pressed on, driven by a determination to protect herself and those she cared about from the looming threat. Each seal she activated brought her closer to understanding the true nature of the malevolent force and the extent of its power. However, as Emily approached the final seal, located deep within the mansion's forbidden chambers, she felt a palpable sense of danger. The air crackled with dark energy, and whispers echoed through the corridors warning her of the consequences of her actions. Undeterred, Emily prepared herself for the ultimate challenge. The horror story had reached its climax, and the fate of Blackwood Manor, and perhaps the world itself, hung in the balance as Emily braced herself for the final confrontation with the ancient evil that lurked within.
As Emily stood before the final seal, the weight of her mission bore down upon her. The grimoire's pages fluttered in her hands, its instructions guiding her through the intricate process of activating the seal that would reveal the true nature of the malevolent force imprisoned within Blackwood Manor. With a deep breath, Emily began the ritual, tracing ancient symbols and reciting incantations passed down through generations. The chamber seemed to come alive with energy, the air crackling with anticipation as the final seal responded to her commands. As the last words of the incantation left Emily's lips, the seal glowed with a blinding light, illuminating the chamber and casting shadows that danced wildly across the walls. A surge of power pulsed through the room, and the ground shook beneath Emily's feet. Suddenly, a rift appeared before her, swirling with dark energies and emitting an otherworldly hum. Emily braced herself as the rift widened, revealing a glimpse of the void from which the malevolent force had been imprisoned. Out of the rift emerged a dark figure, its form shifting and twisting with unnatural grace. It exuded an aura of malevolence that sent shivers down Emily's spine. But she stood her ground, determined to face the ancient evil head on. The figure spoke with a voice that echoed through the chamber, filling Emily's mind with visions of destruction and chaos. It revealed itself to be the entity that had been imprisoned within Blackwood Manor, an entity of pure darkness and malevolence, hungry for revenge and power. As the entity advanced towards Emily, she raised the grimoire and the blade of redemption, prepared to confront the ancient evil with all the knowledge and strength she had gained throughout her journey. The horror story had reached its pivotal moment, and the outcome of Emily's confrontation with the malevolent force would determine the fate of Blackwood Manor and all who dwelled within its haunted halls. The final battle was about to begin, and the true depths of terror and darkness were yet to be revealed. As the entity of darkness advanced towards Emily, the air crackled with tension, and the chamber seemed to shrink under the weight of its malevolent presence. Emily stood her ground, her grip tightening on the grimoire and the blade of redemption her resolve unwavering despite the overwhelming fear that threatened to consume her. The entity's voice echoed through the chamber, a cacophony of whispers and echoes that reverberated in Emily's mind. It taunted her, promising unimaginable horrors and torment if she dared to oppose it. But Emily was not alone in this final battle. The spirits of those who had fallen victim to the entity's wrath within Blackwood Manor seemed to materialize around her, their spectral forms lending her strength and courage. With a determined cry, Emily unleashed a barrage of spells and incantations from the grimoire, each one aimed at weakening the entity's hold and unraveling the darkness that fueled its power. The chamber erupted in a clash of energies, the walls trembling and the air thick with magic. The entity retaliated with equal ferocity, its dark tendrils lashing out and threatening to overwhelm Emily. But she stood firm, channeling the ancient magic of the Blade of Redemption to deflect the attacks strike back with renewed determination. As the battle raged on, the very fabric of reality seemed to warp and twist. Shadows danced madly around Emily and the entity. 
and the rift to the void pulsed with unstable energy. In a moment of clarity, Emily realized that defeating the entity would require more than just physical strength and magical prowess. She needed to understand the source of its power and exploit its weaknesses. With a risky gambit, Emily delved into the depths of her own memories, tapping into the emotions and experiences that defined her. She called upon the bonds of love, friendship, and family, using them as a beacon of light against the darkness that threatened to consume her. The entity recoiled, its form flickering as if struggling against the purity of Emily's emotions. It hissed and snarled, its power waning under the onslaught of positive energy. But the battle was far from over. The horror story had reached its climax, and the outcome hung in the balance as Emily and the entity clashed in a final struggle for the fate of Blackwood Manor and the souls trapped within its haunted walls. As Emily tapped into the depths of her emotions and clashed with the entity of darkness, the very fabric of reality seemed to blur and distort. The chamber resonated with the echoes of their struggle, and the air crackled with energy as their powers collided in a spectacular display of light and shadow. With each strike and counter, Emily felt a surge of determination and strength coursing through her veins. She drew upon the memories of her loved ones, their faces and voices becoming her guiding light in the midst of chaos. The entity, sensing its imminent defeat, unleashed a final, desperate onslaught of dark energy. Shadows swirled around Emily, threatening to engulf her in their suffocating embrace. But she stood firm, her will unbroken, and pushed back with all her might. In a climactic moment, Emily unleashed a spell of pure light from the grimoire, a beacon of hope and purity pierced through the darkness surrounding the entity. The chamber trembled, and a blinding flash of light engulfed everything. When the light subsided, Emily found herself standing alone in the chamber, the entity nowhere to be seen. The rift to the void had closed, and the malevolent force that had plagued Blackwood Manor had been vanquished. Exhausted but victorious, Emily sank to her knees, the grimoire and the blade of redemption clattering to the ground beside her. The spirits of the mansion's victims appeared once more, their ethereal forms radiating gratitude and peace. But even as Emily basked in her triumph, a sense of unease lingered. The horror story had reached its climax, but the mysteries of Blackwood Manor were far from solved. What other secrets lay hidden within its walls? And what new terrors awaited those who dared to delve into its dark past? As Emily prepared to leave the chamber and face the uncertain future, she knew that the journey was not over. The horror story had taken unexpected twists and turns, and the legacy of Blackwood Manor would continue to haunt those who crossed its threshold.
As Emily caught her breath in the aftermath of the intense battle, a sense of both relief and apprehension washed over her. The chamber remained eerily silent, the only sound being her own ragged breathing and the distant echoes of the recent struggle. Slowly rising to her feet, Emily surveyed the surroundings, her gaze lingering on the spot where the entity of darkness had once stood. It was gone, defeated by her courage and determination. But she couldn't shake the feeling that its malevolent presence still lingered in the shadows. With a deep breath, Emily picked up the grimoire and the blade of redemption, tucking them safely away. The spirits of the mansion's victims seemed to fade into the ethereal mist their whispered words of gratitude echoing in her mind. As she prepared to leave the chamber and return to the mansion's main halls, Emily couldn't help but wonder about the true origins of the malevolent force and the secrets that Blackwood Manor still held. What had driven the entity to darkness? And were there other dangers lurking within the mansion's depths? As if in answer to her thoughts, a faint whisper brushed against her senses, a warning that the darkness within Blackwood Manor was not easily dispelled. The horrors she had faced were merely a glimpse of the true depths of terror that the mansion held. Determined to uncover the truth and bring peace to the souls trapped within the mansion's haunted walls, Emily steeled herself for the next phase of her journey the horror story had reached a critical juncture, and the mysteries of Blackwood Manor awaited her exploration once more. As Emily stood in the chamber, surrounded by the remnants of her battle with the Entity of Darkness, she felt a sense of closure and relief wash over her. The malevolent force that had plagued Blackwood Manor for centuries had been vanquished, and the spirits of the mansion's victims had finally found peace. With a deep breath, Emily made her way back through the hidden passageways and forgotten corridors of the mansion. As she emerged into the main halls, she found the atmosphere had changed. The air felt lighter, and the shadows seemed less ominous. Days turned into weeks, and Emily dedicated herself to uncovering the remaining secrets of Blackwood Manor. With the help of the grimoire and the knowledge she had gained from her experiences, she uncovered hidden treasures and ancient artifacts that shed light on the history of the mansion and the forces that had shaped its dark legacy. As she delved deeper into the mysteries, Emily also took on the responsibility of ensuring that the mansion's past would not be forgotten. She worked tirelessly to restore the neglected parts of Blackwood Manor, turning it into a place of beauty and remembrance rather than fear and despair. Over time, the town's perception of Blackwood Manor shifted. It became a place of fascination and curiosity drawing visitors from far and wide who were eager to explore its storied halls and learn about its rich history. But even as Blackwood Manor underwent a transformation, Emily never forgot the lessons she had learned and the battles she had fought within its walls. The horrors of the past had shaped her into a stronger, wiser person and she carried the memories of her journey with her always. As she stood on the grounds of Blackwood Manor, looking out at the peaceful landscape, Emily knew that the horror story had reached its conclusion. The darkness that had once gripped the mansion had been dispelled, and a new chapter had begun, one filled with hope, redemption, and the enduring power of resilience in the face of adversity.